The first time I saw Alinea was probably in 19 or 2009. Um, it's actually the first machine that I worked on um, in specialty coffee, like after all the super automatic stuff was out of the way. Like I didn't know that much about espresso machines prior to that because I was just kind of like, here's this coffee and get out there, throw it in a porta filter, prepare it, you know, or like grind at the machines that, you know, grind and pull a shop for you. Um, and it was the first time that I was able to sort of like think about a machine in the context of its reliability, I think. Like the machine was like this partnership that you had, you know, and it was your, it was your tool and there are certain machines that are not reliable. The linea is certainly not, or purported certainly not to be uh, an unreliable machine. It's like, it's a workhorse. It's really a responsive machine. And you generally know that if anything is going weird, it's probably you, uh, which is kind of a bummer, but at the same time, it's reassuring. It's really classic. Uh, it's elegant, it looks good in a space. It looks good with other equipment. Um, I think that the Linea visually has become synonymous with quality of preparation. Like you uh, talk to a lot of people on the customer side who are really interested in, in coffee. And a lot of people have signifiers. They walk into a cafe, they want to figure out, should I get espresso here? Um, nine times out of 10, if you ask them what their, their how, what the kind of qualifications for a good cafe are. They describe La Marzocco machine. And I think Linea is, to a lot of people, that quintessential machine.